Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you unplug the appliance before beginning. Your first step is to release the main top. Whether your model has a control panel at the rear or at the front, the procedure is the same. Insert a putty knife under the front of the main top to release the spring clips. Now rotate the top up and support it. Depending on your model, the next step is to disconnect the door switch wires or the wire harness. If necessary, you may also need to remove the zip tie securing the wires. Now, remove the front panel mounting screws and pull the front panel up and out to remove. Your next step is to remove the screws to release the rear access panel. Reach into the cabinet and push the idler pulley to release the tension on the old belt, if still intact, and unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. Now lift the drum as you slide the old belt off. Install the new belt by sliding it over the drum, rib side down. Reach through the rear panel and thread the belt onto the pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Now, rotate the drum to help align the belt. Position the rear access panel and secure the screws. Reinstall the front panel by aligning the slots at the bottom of the panel with the support clips. Then lift up the drum as you snap the front panel into place. Secure the mounting screws and reconnect the wire harness or door switch wires, depending on your model. Use a zip tie to secure the wires. Rotate the main top back into place and press down on the front to secure the spring clips. You're now ready to plug the appliance back in to make sure it's functioning properly.